Not that I haven't been counting, but two weeks, three days from now, we'll be we'll be here, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a real show at that point. Now, Aaron, you obviously wouldn't sneak unless that slide came, right? So it's skeleton, so you can't tell. But just so you guys are aware, you're kind of hanging at the back pipe. If your man leaves, you come to it. I think that we got back to lacrosse playing at a right tempo, and we want to have our guys have fun and have a little bit of freedom. I think sometimes when you put too much structure, uh, they lose the enjoyment of the game. We're deep. We're deep at the midfield. We're deep at the attack. We have a couple of transfers that have come in and have been impactful right away. Uh, we have a couple of juniors and seniors that have been in the program, understand what it takes to compete at this level. Uh, and we have a really good goal. We have a, we have really good options at the goal. Uh, we just brought in two transfers. So you think if you can if you can score and you can make some saves, you, you have a chance. You know how you were saying that guy goes that. Is it is it that guy's job to rotate over on defense? Yes. So another play would be like if he gets it, he can look across the crease. Cross crease if he if the sneak man gets it. Yeah. I traditionally don't make that save, I swear. <laughs> you guys got the hang of this pretty quick, though. Oh! oh he hit the target, dude! Woo! <laughs> Did that go in the target? It's important that that verbiage is in our language on a daily basis. We ask our guys to use the word championship, to use the word victory. Uh, you know, we got to get our guys to believe they can do it first before we ever accomplish any of those goals.